Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast Radio. Now, this week, our resident economist, Mark Coleman, has been analysing both the content and the potential effectiveness of the Department of Enterprise's policy priorities. And I started by asking him for his view on the department's recent white paper. Thank you, Carl. There is nothing wrong on an individual basis with any of the recommendations, and I'll go through them quickly. So the first one is integrating decarbonisation and net zero commitments. We'd all say amen to that. Placing digital transformation at the heart of enterprise policy is number two. Advancing Ireland's FDI proposition is number three. Strengthening Irish-owned exporting, the Irish-owned exporting sector is number four. And then five, six and seven, respectively, for enabling local trading sectors to thrive, stepping up enterprise innovation and then building on strengths and opportunities, number six and seven, respectively. My gut reaction to this, Carl, is that this has been written by highly competent civil servants, top of their game. But I don't see the private sector inputs in here. I don't really see a footprint of anybody who's ever worked in industry or worked in business at the coalface. And I think this is where a lot of government policy may be hitting serious problems in terms of credibility. The absolute urgency for business and the top number one priority is the cost of doing business in this country, not just the cost of taxation, which has been crippling because we never saw a reversal of tax austerity from the previous crisis. We saw a reversal of uh, public spending austerity, which has been more than compensated for. We're still carrying the weight of the highest marginal tax rates for self-employed people in Europe. But secondly, as we know, inflation has added between 10 and 20 percent to business costs of average businesses, and in some cases much higher than that. Thirdly, we have a massive, massive increase in the time cost. It's like a time tax of regulation. Anybody who's tried to do basic banking transactions, tried to get a loan, any SME owner will tell you uh, about that. So really, the we know the FDI sector is going gangbusters and, and, and it's a great success story. But really, had I been designing an enterprise policy for our priorities now, I would have been starting not with the export sector, not with the FDI sector. I would have been starting with the hard-pressed indigenous SME sector that is low value, low margin, and is at the pin of its collar with taxes, costs, and regulations. And that is the urgent priority that I would have been getting across. Now, having said that, in fairness, this document was started probably two years ago. It's usually a very slow process. There was a public consultation on this, which ended in July of last year. So I think what we're getting now is probably not a bad document for the economy we had two and a half years ago post-pandemic, but for the economy we have right now post-chronic inflation, I think need to really say these are a good list of priorities, but we probably need to change the numbers on those priorities quite radically if it's to do any good in the coming year, which, as we know, is going to be an incredibly tough one and mostly a tough one for the indigenous, non-traded sector. And I would say that Enterprise Ireland have done fantastic work, but its focus on the exporting sector over the last 25 years has ignored the fact that most towns and villages around Ireland today rely in a very significant way on employers who will never export significantly, you know, will never export or never export significantly and should not be expected to. It's the news agent. It's the small construction firm. You know, it's the little battalions that make the economy work. And by the way, still provide a majority of people employed in this country and still provide a majority of tax income despite the tremendous success of the FDI sector. That's what I don't get from this document. Having said that, There's a lot of good stuff in it, but if I were the new Minister for Enterprise, Trade and Employment, Simon Coveney, I would be taking a hard look at the numerical prioritisation and I'd be moving some of those numbers around. Well, Mark will be back with us again next week to share his assessment of the latest goings-on in the economy. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick.